Hi students, today I am discussing your workout exercise from your chapter 1, Rational Numbers. The questions from 8 to 15. Our 8th question is, by what number should minus 3 by 4 be multiplied so the product became 2 by 3? Here you have to multiply minus 3 by 4 by a number to get 2 by 3. So, minus 3 by 4 into that number equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, the number equal to 2 by 3 divided by minus 3 by 4. When you take this minus 3 by 4 to the right side of equal sign, it becomes division. So, 2 by 3 divided by minus 3 by 4. You know the division of a rational numbers. It is when you divide, do multiplication by taking reciprocal. So, 2 by 3 into 4 by minus 3 is equal to 8 by minus 9 equal to minus 8 by 9. Ninth one, divide the sum of 65 by 12 and 12 by 7 by their difference. So, first you find out the sum of 65 by 12 and 12 by 7 and find the difference and then divide. So, sum of 65 by 12 equal to 65 by 12 plus 12 by 7 equal to 65 by 12 into 7 by 7. Why I multiplied by 7 by 7? Because first you find the LCM of the denominator and to make equivalent fraction, you multiplied 65 by 12 into 65 by 12 by 7. So, here the LCM is 84. So, 65 by 12 plus 12 by 7 equal to 65 by 12 into 7 by 7 plus 12 by 7 into 12 by 12. So, you will get 455 by 84 plus 144 by 84 is equal to 599 by 84. So, you got the sum. Now, you find the difference. Difference equal to 65 by 12 minus 12 by 7 the previous method find the LCM and you will get 485 by 84 minus 144 by 84 equal to 311 by 84. So now you got sum and a difference. Now you divide 599 by 84 divided by 311 by 84 is equal to 599 by 84 into 84 by 311. 84 and 84 get cancelled. So the answer is 599 by 311. Tenth one, the product of two numbers is 5 by 9. If one of the numbers is minus 8 by 21, find the other. So here, the product of two numbers is given and one number is given. So to get the other number, you just divide. You divide the product by the one number. So product of two numbers equal to 5 by 9 and one number is equal to minus 8 by 21. So to get the other number, you divide the product 5 by 9 by the one number minus 8 by 21. So again you find the reciprocal and multiply you will get minus 105 by 72 is equal to minus 35 by 24. Eleventh one. What number should be subtracted from the product of 2 by 7 and 3 by 8 to get minus 3 by 7? What number should be subtracted from the product of 2 by 7 and 3 by 8 to get minus 3 by 7? So do this question for this first you find the product of 2 by 7 and 3 by 8 so product of 2 by 7 and 3 by 8 equal to 3 by 28 now you got the product and what number should be subtracted from that you have to subtract one number from that product to get minus 3 by 7 you have to subtract a number from 3 by 28 to get minus 3 by 7 so, you take this number to the other side and take minus 3 by 7 to this side. You will get 3 by 28 plus 3 by 7 equal to that number. And again, you find the LCM. LCM of 28 and 7 is 28. It's equal to, after adding, you will get 15 by 28. Therefore, the record number equal to 15 by 28. Next one, twelfth one. A tailor needs to make uniforms for 32 students from a piece of cloth. If the length of that piece is 45 3 by 4 meter and each student requires 
1 or 1 by 8 meter. Calculate the length of cloth that would be left. A tailor needs to make uniform for 32 students and he has the uh, cloth 45 and 3 by 4 meter. The total length of the cloth is 45 3 by 4 meter and each student requires 1 and 1 by 8 meter. So how much cloth needed to 32 students? The cloth needed to 32 students to get that you multiply 1 and 1 by 8 into 32. So after multiplying 32 and 1 and 1 by 8 you will get 36 meter. So 36 meter needed to make uniform for 32 students. 36 meter cloth needed to make uniform to make uniform for 32 students. So remaining he has 45 and 3 by 4 meter cloth. So the remaining cloth equal to 45 and 3 by 4 minus 36. So you will get 39 by 4 meter that is equal to 9 3 by 4 meter. Next one, 3 by 4 cup of water is required to make a cup of tea. Find the total quantity of water required for 24 cups of tea. Here, 3 by 4 cup of water needed to make a cup of tea. And the question is, how much amount of water needed to make 24 cups of tea? It's very easy, you multiply 3 by 4 into 24, so you will get 18 cups. So, 18 cups record to make 24 cups of tea next one 14th the cost of 3 and 1 by 2 kilogram of sugar sugar is rupees 119 find the cost of 1 and 3 by 4 kilogram of sugar here the cost of 3 and 1 by 2 kilogram sugar is given and the question is find the cost of 1 and 3 by 4 kilogram sugar so to get the cost of 1 and 3 by 4 kilogram of sugar first you have to find out the cost for 1 kilogram then you multiply 1 and 3 by 4 so to get the cost of sugar of 1 kilogram you divide 119 by 3 and 1 by 2 so when you divide 109 divided by 3 by 2 it's equal to 109 divided by 7 by 2 it's equal to 34 rupees now you got the cost for 1 kilo it is 34 rupees now our question is cost of 1 and 3 by 4 kilogram of sugar. So you multiply that 34 by 1 3 by 4. It's equal to 109 by 2. It's equal to 59 1 by 2 rupees. For the cost of 1 3 by 4 kilogram of sugar is 59 1 by 2 rupees. Next one. In a cricket match, 2 by 9 of the tickets were reserved and remaining 3500 were sold at the counter. How many seats were there in all? In a cricket match, 2 by 9 of the tickets were reserved. And the remaining 3500 were sold at the counter. Here, 2 by 9 of the tickets reserved. So, how much part remaining? It is 7 by 9. That is 7 by 9 parts of the tickets sold. 2 by 9 is reserved and the remaining is sold it is 2 by it is 7 by 9 of the total tickets so 7 by 9 of total tickets equal to 3500 2 by 9 is reserved and 7 by 9 is sold so 7 by 9 of the total tickets equal to 3500 so total tickets equal to 3500 divided by 7 by 9 so you multiply with reciprocal you will get 4500 so total tickets equal to number of total tickets equal to 4500 okay students thanks for watching